So as you can see, it's a sit and stand desk from FlexiSpot. They're really kind enough to send it to me for free and I'm super excited to set it up. So I looked online and it seems like it's pretty easy to set up, but I'm not the best handyman, so we'll see. <laughs> Now for the moment of truth, will it work? Wow. Hey everyone, welcome to another day in my life as a software engineer. If you're new to my channel, I'm John, your friend in tech. I'm a software engineer based in the Bay Area. So on my channel, I make videos about being a software engineer and lifestyle vlogs just like this one. So if you're into that kind of content, you're in the right place. Today's vlog is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually not going to code today. And a lot of people always ask me like, how many hours do you code? And honestly, it really depends because days like this, I'm not gonna code at all. So today I'll share with you what a day in the life looks like when I don't code and give you more insights on what I do as a software engineer besides coding. Later on today, I'm gonna take a machine learning class. I'm excited to learn something new. I did take an artificial intelligence class in college, but I really don't remember any of it. And then last week I did an interview with another YouTuber and they're gonna publish the video today. So I'm gonna watch it. I'm kind of excited, but also kind of nervous because it's my first time ever doing a YouTube collab and also doing an interview. I'm still kind of new to all this YouTube stuff. So I'm gonna watch it. I'll share some clips and then I'll link to the video down below so you can check it out after you're done watching this one. You may have noticed I'm standing around. I finally got a standing desk. I got like this whole new setup and I'll share that with you later on in the video as well. Stick around, it's gonna be a fun day. I like to leave my yoga mat out all day. It serves as a reminder for me to stretch when I need to. And it's also really handy for when I'm stuck debugging something and I don't wanna lay in my bed or on the couch. I'll just lay on my yoga mat and stretch and think at the same time. So that's my little life hack of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. So John, how's it going? Good. <laughs> hey, thanks for having me. Oh yeah, absolutely. So my YouTube collab is up right now. It's my first ever collab. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad it was with my friend from grad school, Sam. His YouTube channel is Keep On Coding and he has a lot of great content. So I'm reading all the live chat comments and Evioli says, two of my favorite dev creators in one video, yes. And so that makes me feel really nice. Shout out to you, Evioli. Thanks for watching. You should watch the rest of the video on Sam's channel. I'll link it down in the video description below. So 
So before my class starts, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who watches my videos and subscribes. It really means a lot to me and I'm super grateful for all of you. I'm almost at 2,500 subscribers. I bet by the time this video is posted, I have more than that. So that's super exciting. Couldn't have done it without you all. I feel like I met so many of you already through my comments. And for those who have added me on Instagram and DM me, it's been really nice to hear from all of you. If you haven't added me on Instagram already, my username is your friend in tech, same as my YouTube channel. But yeah, I just wanted to say thanks again. I am really grateful for all of you that watch my videos. And if you aren't subscribed, hit the button down below. But my class is gonna get started soon, but I wanna enjoy this cookie and coffee, so yeah. Oh, it's kinda stuck. I microwaved it probably too long. <laughs> I'm really gripping it. Hmm. Is this stuck? So it's a little bit later now. I just finished the course on machine learning. I think machine learning as a field is super fascinating. They solve really hard and complex problems. I think for me, I'm less interested in the technical details on how to build and train a model. I'm more interested in what problems can we solve in machine learning and what's the best way we can surface those solutions to our users. much done for today there's no way I'm gonna be able to do any more thinking after this but yeah I'm taking a break right now I'm on my yoga mat on the floor I'm gonna do some light stretches and then I want to show you my desk because I'm super proud of it So this is the FlexiSpot 3 stage standing desk. So it has a bamboo top and it has this curved cutout. They have two cable management holes, which makes it really easy to organize your cables. So they have three different buttons where you can save your different heights. So the way I use it is I have number one set to be for when I'm sitting in my chair. I have number two set for when I'm standing. And I have number three set for when I'm using my high chair. So huge shout out to FlexiSpot. Thank you for sending me this desk. I really enjoy using it so far. All right, so we just got off of work and now we're heading to In-N-Out. Or actually, we are already here. <laughs> <laughs> we're in line. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Would you like Her some ketchup? Oh, sure, that'd be great. Thank you. Thank you. potatoes I'm putting them through the machine and then pushing them through and 